Kia ora from New Zealand. I'm here with my family exploring the South Island. Absolutely beautiful country and we're going to check out some wild foods along the way. Uh, kia ora koutou katoa. Uh, nau mai hara mai ki tēnei uh, whenua o Ngāti Kuri, uh, ki tēnei iwi o Ngāti Whānui. Um, just kia ora and uh, hello, my name's Morris Manawatu and I'm from Kai Koda um, here and uh, Kai means food, Koda means crayfish so the name of our town is to eat crayfish and family have lived in Kai Koda for 800 years I'm like an old local and most of my family live here so related to probably half the town. Yeah. Um, my favourite plant is really is the tortilla tree. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, this is the big chief. You know, like, like you have a genealogy with people, Tania mentioned, we have a genealogy amongst the trees. This is right up the top. Um, it's called the tortilla. Um, this is the tree that was used to carve our canoes, um, our carvings. You get some woods that are too hard or too soft, the perfect carving tree. This one here is about 500 years old but it grows up to 2,000 years old. The outer barking was used to put on top of our roofs to, like, to stop the rain from coming in. But with our tribe, and with most tribes of New Zealand, when a respected elder passes away, a common saying in the speeches of farewell was another tortilla has fallen. Mm -hmm. You know, beautiful. We, we can't walk past here without cha-ching, singing our song. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we ready? Here we go. This could become your family song. <laughs> Just, uh, yeah, we, we ran a culture tour, uh, taking people behind the scenes with our culture and, and try to explain why we do the things we do. It's about sort of really getting to, to um, understand and, um, you know, and maybe hopefully connect uh, with the environment that we live in. We have um, hundreds and hundreds of different of ferns, but there's only seven you can eat. Okay, so mm. this is the moku, and this is like your fiddle stick, or but we call fiddle it the heads, oh fiddlehead, sorry, <laughs> but we call it the pickle pickle. So that's something that would break off. Um, you can eat it raw, preferably it's sort of nice and garlic butter. No, no. So you'd pick it off and you can um, eat it, and, it, and the spiral represents new beginning, new journey, or family. That's what the spiral represents. And I'll try not to hit anyone this time. <laughs> this here, this is um, nicknamed the Māori asparagus. Oh. Okay, so we'd, we'd break it off, similar to the asparagus. Huh. Eating cooked or raw, it tastes like a green bean. Oh. Yeah, so, and um, the magic thing about this plant, this end tip here grows roughly about five centimetres per day. <laughs> so we could sit here and watch it grow. All, we it, all it's trying to do is get to the sun. It doesn't damage any plants at all. Huh. Um, if it was to break off here, it would just grow out somewhere else. Oh, okay. Yeah. What's the name again? The kariol. Kariol. Or the supplejack. And, and so we're going to try a you tea. Just take one and one how, how I made the tea is you've got some leaves that have got holes and some that haven't. The holy leaf is the good leaf when making the tea. So the bugs go to the best leaves first. <laughs> Um, I got about six, seven leaves, put it in a teapot, poured hot water, let it sit for about probably about ten minutes, gave it a stir, and then we and then poured it into the thermos. Is it, how you make it. So it purifies the blood. It's good for sore throat. The tea. Yeah. When we make the tea, we use green leaves. Part of our belief is when the leaf still has the green, the life force is still within the leaf. When the leaf goes brown 
um, the belief is that the life force has left the leaf. Okay, so this is the kawa kawa.